Hi class, I'm going to uh, introduce a, a concept here uh, which I uh, actually picked up from interacting with uh, the president of the American Society for Public Administration uh, who I actually had uh, the pleasure of meeting twice. Uh, both uh, times were in Korea. Uh, Korea is a very active participant kind of uh, in the um, I mean, it's funny because it's the American Society of Public Administration, but Korea is very active. A lot of pre and Korean public administrators are active in that uh, organization. So uh, she was there visiting. She was actually herself as an uh, American, but of Australian origin. Uh, the upshot is this. Uh, her research interests um, tacked over to this concept of emotional labor. Our discussion, I think, uh, started with my mentioning of my interest in emotional intelligence. And from that, I think the uh, conversation moved to her interest, which was the uh, um, kind of a parallel uh, concept of emotional labor, meaning that the traits to be effective uh, in conducting emotional labor are, in, in essence, high degrees of emotional intelligence. But then we have to turn to the question of, well, what is emotional labor? What does that look like? And it's a very interesting question because it's one of those areas that um, tell us about what the value of people really are and how we can then begin to better assess performance in this area, uh, dealing with people sometimes in stressful situations and this can range from of course, you know, uh, being a 9-11 call center to an emergency um, reaction team. But more often, it's simply in those more mundane interactions with the public, where you're a clerk at a DMV office, or you are um, you're providing other informational services uh, in your work capacities, and you're dealing with a broad range of people some of them um, better than others in terms of how they're interacting with you. A lot of that depends upon the work you're doing, but uh, I think we all know that you can encounter unpleasantness and then your ability to handle that um, while in an official capacity becomes a big deal. So that's you know part of what emotional labor is about. This is really just an introduction to the concept, and uh, I think it's an area that you might want to look further into I think it's gaining a lot of traction. There is a growing literature on emotional labor within the human resource management uh, field. As we move ever further away from um, the idea of labor being what we do with our bodies in a you know, muscular sort of way and being more understood along the lines of um, the stressors that come with having a role where you're interacting with people and providing services. So that's our sort of point of departure for that. And we'll um, see where this uh, you know, leads us as we uh, proceed through the course. Thanks.